Um, that's a great question. At our state, we are implementing the 20 critical controls, tr critical security controls for effective cyber defense. And one of the things that we've done that I consider to be a little bit innovative is really embracing sort of that next generation technology where we've implemented some technology that gives us um, advanced threat detection and preventative response um, that I'm actually really excited about because sometimes it's hard to make purchases in state government and right away in the door within a few months we had made um, a huge strategic purchase that um, I think has really changed the game for us. So we've got a multi-year strategic plan called Secure Colorado in which we are implementing and maturing the 20 critical controls for cyber defense. And so we will continue that for several years to come. Another thing is, as I mentioned, um, embracing those innovative, game-changing technologies that really help us to hopefully outpace emerging threats. And then lastly, we're really focusing on implementing um, or, or creating better visibility into our environment, um, event correlation, so that we're better prepared and able to detect and respond to security incidents. One of the biggest challenges that we face is just user um, behavior. So for instance, users are often clicking on links that they shouldn't, even though we tell them over and over and over. Um, another thing that they do is they share data that shouldn't be shared. And so really we're trying to build in some of those safeguards to keep users safe and secure. Um, so preventing malware from being able to be installed, um, implementing encryption for sensitive data that's automatic, um, implementing rules that would alert the user that they're sharing outside of standard um, procedures, all of those things just to help the users fail safe. Yeah, so um, definitely making those, establishing those relationships with my peers to hear what other states are doing. Um, there is a session on advanced cyber analytics that I'm really looking forward to listening to how other states are using analytics to um, better detect threats and respond to them. I think there's just a ton of good content that I'm really interested in hearing what other states are doing in the areas of cybersecurity. Yeah, so implementing the 20 critical controls is really key because that gives us what we feel is a very effective um, threat defense posture, as well as embracing those new and innovative security technologies that hopefully can help us to outpace emerging threats. Um, another thing that we've done is we've established a cybersecurity task force where we've got full-time dedicated individuals from the Governor's Office of Information Technology, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the Colorado D Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, and this team is led by the FBI. They have the um, necessary clearances to be able to receive the important threat information, and they're actually monitoring for instances of attacks against Colorado resources and their goal is to detect and prosecute those. Yeah, that is a great question and I'll tell you what we're doing in Colorado is we have a monthly meeting in which we've got a bunch of the local and state government uh, meeting to share threat information and best practices as well as we've got local federal, federal partnership as well from Secret Service, from the FBI, from the National Guard and we're just meeting on a monthly basis to share information. That's kind of how we're doing it locally in Colorado but one of the things that I'm interested in learning while I'm here is how are other states approaching this and what is sort of the federal thought or response around how do we better partner as well.
Yeah, sure. So like any state government, we have a lot of sort of leftover legacy equipment that, you know, is kind of end of life and difficult to manage because we have so much varied types of it. And so as we are able to replace or consolidate, we are really partnering with, um, you know, thought leaders to figure out how could we better not just replace what we're doing, but really amp up the game um, so that not only are we, for instance, um, firewalling traffic from the internet, but firewalling agency to agency, giving us better capabilities internally as well. Um, how are we able to detect advanced persistent threats or um, denial of service efforts or you know just because we allow traffic in for one agency doesn't mean we need to allow it for all so we're really you know as we have the opportunity to consolidate or to replace technology we're really looking for best of breed technology that gets us further down um, the roadway to better security and better effective defense